past the hour. Now to this mea culpa from Hillary Clinton. She is apologizing for using a private email server while she was Secretary of State. Clinton admitting to ABC News she should have used two accounts, one for the personal, another for work-related emails. That was a mistake. I'm sorry about that. I take responsibility. Uh, and I'm trying to be as transparent as I possibly can to uh, not only release 55,000 pages of uh, my emails, turn over my server, but I am looking forward finally to testifying before Congress. Byron, you're our chief political correspondent of Washington Examiner and Fox News contributor. Byron, good morning to good you. Morning, now, does this change? Well, I guess it could change something on the political side, perhaps not the legal side. Does it change anything now? Well, it might be well received among some of Mrs. Clinton's supporters who were a little nervous uh, that she had not uh, taken on this email controversy more forthrightly. But I think with everybody else, it's not going to change anything. First of all, the FBI is investigating. That is not going to stop. They're investigating whether she had classified material on her secret unsecured email server. The FBI is not going to say, well, she's apologized and we'll stop now. That's not going to happen. Uh, same with the intelligence community. It had actually has determined that at least a couple of emails that she had were, were classified top secret. So that investigation is going to continue. And then there is the House Benghazi Committee. Trey Gowdy, the chairman of that committee, has made it very clear uh, that he's frustrated with uh, Mrs. Clinton's response to his request. He believes there are really big gaps in the information she has uh, turned over. So he is going to continue to press for more Benghazi-related information from her. And her saying she's sorry is not going to change anything on that front. Well, her polling is down 10 points in a month. And she said on ABC that every, everybody knew she had a private email. She even mentioned the White House without mentioning names. And Jeb Bush was asked about that earlier today on Fox and Friends here. Watch. This administration has been so lax as it relates to cybersecurity, and we see the threats. It, it, the Office of Personnel Management now, it turns out, uh, because they didn't create a secure situation, 23 or 22 million separate personnel files are now in the hands of the Chinese government. This is the problem of, of not taking your job seriously. And on that last point of not taking your job seriously, Byron, that's well, something I that people can sort of grasp and understand if it's classified and it's coming through your server at your house in New York State, how are you handling it? Yeah, and, and also I think that you're going to see the Benghazi Committee and other investigators trying to get down to the, sort of, of the basic points here. Why did she do it? And these investigators believe she did it to keep information away from nosy members of Congress or inspectors general or anybody else who wanted to find out what she was doing as Secretary of State. We're not, Trey Gowdy has re repeatedly said he's not interested in emails about yoga or, or her daughter's wedding. Um, so saying I'm sorry uh, is, is a, a smart thing politically. She probably should have done that quite a long time ago. But it doesn't change any of the facts of the case in either the legal investigation or the congressional investigation. And we'll see in the next interview whether it comes up again. I imagine it will. Thank you, Byron. It will. By Byron York Thank in you, Washington, D.C. Appreciate your time. Well, Stephen Colbert making his late night debut, the late show premiering last night with a new host after the retirement of James.